This is Senior Product Manager Derek Wood welcoming you to another Infrascale how-to video. Today we're going to cover how to do a recovery from a VMware backup to a VMware environment. We're going to restore an existing backup job as a new VM. To do that, first of course you need to have your data protection appliance set up and configured running backups. From there, to do recovery, we come into our primary appliance management console, which you can access from your dashboard, from the appliances tab, or from the URL or IP address that you configured the appliance on in your initial configuration steps. Once we're in the dashboard, we go to the clients tab. In the clients tab, we can go to VMware, and we can see that we have these three machines. Uh, one is not registered and two are. If we wanted to verify that we actually have backup jobs running, we can go to our job history and we can see that we have jobs for exchange running here. So let's select our exchange server. We're going to right click, select restore. Then you'll be presented with an option to select the latest version of this backup job. Now, unless you were going to revert back to a previous period, for example, if you got some configuration option with a corrupted driver or Windows Update or whatever it was, you could go back in time to whichever backup that you have available based on your retention policies. I'll just select the latest and hit Next. Then you're given the option to restore to an existing virtual machine. So this would be the point where you would say you know, you're rolling back changes perhaps or you're going to create a new virtual machine. I select Next. Everything's pre-selected, our data store and resource pool. And then we'll choose databases, or choose, then we'll choose data stores by disk. And if nothing shows up here, you click this and it'll give you the options. So at first it may show up as question marks. Select Next. And we can give it the name Restored uh, for the sake of knowing that this is a restored version. If you're doing a test restore, maybe you know we call it Fire Drill if you're providing that type of a service for your customers. Because again, this system does make it very easy to do that. Select Next. And we have the option to power on after restore. We'll say yes. Do you want to connect this virtual machine to the network after restore? I'm going to say no because I don't want to yet uh, disconnect my existing exchange server. I hit finish and now it's going to create a new VM directly onto the VMware environment that we're currently connected to. There we go. So that's it and we go here and we see exchange fire drill and if I pull up vSphere I can actually see right here that it's been created. So now this is going to go to work. It's going to start restoring the disk and once that's ready we'll be able to power it on and actually remote into this machine. So after a little bit of time the machine is now initialized and the speed of that depends on the resources you have on your uh, VMware environment. So now I go ahead and launch my vSphere client and we will remote into this new machine that's been created. Here it is. You select it from the list. And we'll just open it through the console. All right, go ahead and log in with our creds. And here we are, right into our Exchange server. So this shows a very simple way to recover an entire VM as a new VM directly into your existing VMware environment. For more information, visit infrasale.com or check out our YouTube channel for more self-help videos.